What's up, Fearless Nation? Jay Roos once again. Talking boxing. It's been getting heated again once, in, once again in the heavyweight division. Deontay Wilder came out of hiding recently, but he sounded like Gene Wilder. Stir crazy. He's talking crazy. He's coming with all these excuses and people are just like, rap. I mean, it's funny when people say, you know, I don't have any excuses and then they come with a whole bunch of excuses. He said he didn't want to get into it, but you know, maybe at a later date he, and uh, he just said, I wasn't right, you know, and Joshua said too, that he had some issues going into the Ruiz fight, but he said that after, you know, after the fact, way down the road, he didn't say that, you know, for right after the fight. It's like this guy just coming out talking about he didn't feel right and there's some snakes in the camp that he'll be getting rid of. I'm like, just admit you lost and come back. If you admit it, I mean, that's the first step. You got to admit you lost and work on the things that caused you to lose. You know, was it your footwork, your jab, your lack of head movement or all of the above? But don't just come with these excuses, man. People are just tired of it. And um, he's talking about something like he lost his hunger, you know, and now he's re he's re uh, energized because he lost. Well, newsflash, you lost the first fight. They just didn't give it to they just didn't give it to Fury. But you lost that first fight. And you should have been able to, for that to motivate you. He's just coming up with stuff that people are, are just looking at him sideways. He's losing fans left and right. I, I read the comments on YouTube and people are just kind of fed up. It's like, come on, man. First you go in hiding and now you come back with a whole list of excuses, man. Stop. Just stop, man. And he was riding Joshua heavy when he lost to Andrew Ruiz. So I saw an interview Joshua did the other day, and he was just he was just clowning Deontay. <laughs> he said something about going in his he thought of going in his bag of insults or something, and he called him a a female dog, if you know what I'm saying. He didn't actually say the word, but he he let you know what he was trying to say. He was just talking about how Wilder conducts himself and how he's a man and Wilder isn't. So it's, and then he even imitated him about when he's talking about, uh, all I need is like one shot or, uh, you have to be perfect for 12 rounds. <laughs> it was crazy, but, um, Wilder has to stop, man. I mean, if you're going to do something, just do it. Stay in silence and come back, you know, or, or when you do interviews, just be like, hey, man, I just need to work on some things and I'm going to work on them and come back. People will respect that a whole lot more. But it's just heating up once again. Um, I'm excited when the heavyweights are talking. So we should uh, have some fights coming up real uh, soon. That will be very interesting. And we'll see who's who. Joshua is sounding hungrier than ever, though. And um, Wilder is sounding like Gene Wilder, like I said. This is the J. Roos Theory. Beat down the like button, comment, share, subscribe, and be fearless.